Hi guys! It is my turn to do the favourites. So this is my favourites for October. Now, not all of these are actually going to be things specifically from last October, because I'm actually relatively bad at keeping up to date on stuff. I'm good at this. Okay, so first things first, what I've read. So I'm going to start with one of my all-time favourite series that I really love and I would like to share with people because not many people have heard of this author. Her name is Catherine Webb and she, um, I found these, as you can probably tell by the broken spine, when I was about 14. It's about the age she wrote it, I believe. But um, Mirror Dreams is a very interesting series where whenever we dream, we go to a different world. And everything there has got its own set of rules and the way it works. So there's a series of kingdoms for specific dreams. So when you dream of flying, you have gone to the kingdom of Skyhaven, which is the kingdom of flying, for example. When they dream, they come to us. So they get dreams of science and industry. It's really, it's a really neat idea. And personally, I love the fact that the main character, to quote the tagline, Lane and Kite has a problem and it's all your fault. So it follows Lane and Kite, who is a mage, and he spends a lot of time trying to fix other people's problems and getting even more dug into his, which is always fun. Uh, Catherine Webb has also got another series called Waywalkers. It's a uh, geology, just like this one. And that one's set all about the devil. He's not as bad as it makes out. Uh, that's a really fun series. It's got some really interesting ideas about religion, um, the father of all his time, and depending on what incarnate, like for example, um, fire as an, as an elemental rather than a traditional incarnate, faith, power, things like that, it will depend on uh, what gods you get. Uh, and bless him, Lucifer was not quite properly supposed to be on the family tree and things have gone bad from there. I really recommend it, it's a great series. Uh, from a graphic novel point of view, I am going to recommend a newer one, The Wicked and the Divine. This one only came out in the last couple of years, I believe, and I got into it from a friend who is a very terrible person and got me into an, a continuing comic series, which I hate, because I normally read them in graphic novel form, not actual comics, because I ruin comics. They get torn and destroyed and I'm a bad person. So this is a really a great series. Again, it's about God, so you might be sensing a theme here. And the idea is that there are, I believe, eight gods, oh sorry, 12 gods, that return every 90 years. And they will be around for, a, for two years, and then they'll all die. And this repeats, this is a cycle, to the point where everyone knows about this, to the point where you're waiting for the next incarnate. And I personally really love, again, as it happens, Lucifer in this series, and I want to cosplay her. And um, the two volumes that I've got, it's just really interesting the fascination that people have got with this new incarnate, or comparing them to the old ones, and saying, oh, but our generations was much better. And I just really like the art. It's really pretty if you get a chance. It's from Image Comics, and they're great. Okay then, things that I've watched. This is the really great example of how bad I am at keeping up to date on things. I barely watched anything that isn't stuff I've already seen. However, one series I have been enjoying, when I get up to date on it, because again I'm awful, is Hooten and the Lady. It's something that's been on, on TV, uh, again, actually this one actually came out in October, yay! And it's Indiana Jones, but it's more modern and it's got a little bit of, uh, it's got a British female character a, a Indiana Jones style um, male character. It's very silly, but it's a lot of fun. And I quite liked the plots that they developed. And I've just gotten to the point where there's actually a plot developing, an actual plot. Intriguing or what? So I'm going to get up to date at this at some point and I can't wait to see where this is actually going. Uh, other than that, I'm going to talk about my favorite series of all time, not counting Supernatural, which is, Leverage. I love Leverage. I was turned onto this by my friend Jeannie. And it's hilarious. It's thought provoking. It's sweet. It's dramatic. It's poignant. It hurts your feels. It's got everything. And it's got Elliot. And Elliot's my favourite. Um, it's, it's uh, I think, uh, what's the movie? Ocean's Eleven. But in a series. It's a heist series. It's great fun. You've got the hitter, who's the muscle, the hacker, the grifter, who is the con man, or woman in this case, the thief, and the mastermind. 
and they go around and the idea is that sometimes bad guys are the only good guys you get. So they go against big business and they will get money back for the little guys who have been screwed over. And it's just really good. I love it so much. My favourite, personal favourite episodes in season three, uh, which is the studio job. If people have seen it, they'll know what I mean. And again, I desperately want to cosplay Parker from that one particular episode. The outfit is just stupid and fun. If you get a chance, get yourself a copy of Leverage. I promise you would regret it. Right, played. For people who may have seen the most recent Bristol anime and gaming con uh, vlog, you'll already know about this because I don't really play video games, I don't really play board games, I'm a little boring that way, but I really enjoyed Scrawl. Scrawl is, again, a very light-hearted, very rules-light game and it involves getting a, word, getting a word out of a thing, out of a pile. You then draw your word on a whiteboard, pass it to the next person around the circle who will have to write what they see. Next person around will then have to draw what that person just wrote. And you end up with a Chinese whispers effect going around the room. And if you can actually get the thing all the way around and then back to the original person and it comes up with the same thing, you get extra points. But most of the time, it doesn't happen. Uh, the person who originally started with the board gets to give out a point to their favourite reaction and it normally leads to very silly pictures, very funny Chinese whispers effects happening and we just laughed so hard. Um, if you've seen the vlog, I nearly ruined my Jareth makeup. I was almost crying with laughter. It was so well shot. Things that I've been wearing. Apart from the cosplay, I'm not a huge makeup person, so I'm going to talk jewellery. There is a wonderful online site. It's called Curiology. I will put a link on, into the thing. They are a United Kingdom local for us. And they produce such beautiful, geeky, gothic, interesting jewellery. Most of the stuff that I've picked up has been on the geek spectrum. But I have been tempted by so many of the pretty gothic line. They do a lot of uh, moon images and... Um, a lot of uh, Ouija boards and uh, specific things like that, supernatural type things. Uh, personally, I have got one of the TARDISes. And this is a 3D, and it is completely 3D, beautifully cut. And it's not actually as heavy as it looks either, which is what you want in a necklace. The other two main ones that I have until I finally crack and get some more, looking at the 3D printed hearts for a possible night filled person, is I have got a couple and these were produced as a short run so you wouldn't be able to get them anymore but these were produced for to raise money for charity after the relevant people died so we've got a David Bowie memorial necklace and we have a Terry Pratchett memorial necklace now these two actually go on my wall because they're too pretty to wear and possibly break but they're really reasonable they things arrive if, you, if you're in the United Kingdom, things revive within a week. And I would just like to share this person and get some interest out for them because all of their stuff is so pretty and they deserve the hype. All right, finally, things that I have listened to. Since I have I cannot go for Night Vale because previous people have done it too often, I'm going to go for one of my all-time favourites and the one that I am currently doing a re-listen re to. One of my all-time favourites is Cabin Pressure. Now, Cabin Pressure is a uh, radio comedy with Benedict Cumberbatch and other famous people in it. And it is set on a budget airline. Uh, for, uh, the, one, one of the one of the lines from the, one of the early episodes is that having one plane, MGN, is not really an airline, it's more of an air dot. And you've got Benedict Cumberbatch as the slightly inept, very bewildered pilot. Um, Roger Allum is his uh, very debonair first officer who would like to be the captain but can't actually quite get there. And then you've got a very funny, hysterically dry owner of the thing whose name, uh, actress I can't remember right now, and their idiot steward who is a sweetheart and we love him and he's awesome. But um, the series has finished and uh, it wrapped up some point last year 
and it is just very, very funny. Anytime I need a pickup, I will go back and I will listen to an episode of Cabin Pressure, especially Limerick is my personal favourite. Um, as for what I'm currently listening to, I am doing a reread of the Dresden Files. These are by Jim Butcher, and they are read by James Masters. Spike himself, oh yes. And the books themselves are wonderful anyway. I love them to pieces. They are a modern day wizard in modern day Chicago practicing out in the open as a magical detective. Uh, well, at first that gets a lot more complicated as the series progresses. One of the things I love about it is that once you get far enough into the series, there is actual progression and actual consequences for some of the dumbass actions that Harry takes. And I really like that. And James Marshes just voices it so beautifully, you can tell who is talking just by the little quirks in his voice or the slightly change in accents, to the point where one of the books is voiced by someone different because of reasons, and it threw me right off. I would recommend it again, obviously, and hence why I'm doing it in this video. Dresden Files, especially the audiobooks, but in general, are wonderful. Give them a shot. So, those are my October favourites. Next, uh, next time it gets, gets around to my turn doing the favourites, I'll try and actually have some more current ones. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this sort of thing, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Let us know in the comments what sort of things you want to hear about. If you've got any recommendations, I would love to have some recommendations on ongoing series, apart from getting up to date on Yuri and Ice, which I swear I will. So... Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.